Bud Strauss. I'm uh, one of the co-owners of the uh, the Den Schoolhouse here. Um, the Den Schoolhouse opened up in 1894, and it was seen as the ideal establishment to send local Cincinnati children uh, at a public school. It was uh, District 12 of the public school system. Um, had the best staff, the best uh, facilities. History classroom. Not very big, but you got to remember too. Back in the day, when they started out, the class sizes, you know. Graduating class was like a couple people. Best janitorial crew, best cooking crew. I mean, uh, they made a heck of a Salisbury steak, from what I hear. So uh, we're always serving up something nice here in our cafeteria. So a uh, really nice place to send your children at. Children started disappearing, um, and it came through a couple years, and then would stop. Uh, they had no idea where it was going. Some say it was um, children were running away, you know, following the train tracks was one theory of some locals. And then uh, what we call as the body shoot, it, it was not a body shoot, but um, it's the original, uh, it was either a coal shoot or an ice chest. We can't get either one uh, totally confirmed, but it's made for either one. But uh, of course, bodies were stored in there, so I guess it did become. This was uh, early 1940s. Um, and after that, it kind of stopped. School resumed as normal. Um, and then all of a sudden, the children started disappearing again. And this was the early 50s. Um, and still no one knew what was going on. So the children kept disappearing. The Dent Police Department and local officials got involved. They started doing roadblocks, uh, local checkpoints, even the school bus. Uh, the school bus system for the Dent Schoolhouse and local Cincinnati schools were actually um, escorted by the police. Is that a strange smell started coming up from the basement, the floorboards. Um, and the idea from that was the principal talked to the janitor at the time, which was Charlie, came very highly recommended and he had been working at the school since the beginning. Uh, and then you come through, of course, the janitor's living area where he kind of kept his tools and um, people were trying to still figure out where these children were going and the smell got so bad that they started saying maybe something has to do with the school. So after a while, a mob kind of got together, ended up busting down the door. They had to figure out why children were disappearing just from the school in Cincinnati and no other you know, district in Cincinnati. Ended up, followed the smell, went down into the basement, We've actually had um, a couple occurrences where this strong scent, um, sometimes citronella oil, actually starts pungently, just all of a sudden shows up when someone's working in the basement. They'll go get someone and come back and it's all gone. Which was actually the janitorial area. And to their surprise, I mean, they were strewn, massacred bodies. They were put in the barrels. Uh, the really bizarre thing is, is that Charlie was actually living down here with the, de the decaying bodies all around him. Uh, about a two week, investigation went on and then of course it's still going on it's still not a closed case because Charlie McFree the janitor has not been caught to this day it's because we truly believe this schoolhouse is haunted I mean there's always stuff going on lights flickering um, people being touched I, there's a notorious basement and uh, actually the floor on the top floor where people always get touched uh, when they're doing the business um, oh what else there's always things going on in the basement how do you feel about exploiting or propping up a dead kids? Uh, yeah, we've actually had people come and say, um, uh, we had a previous student who went through the schoolhouse. Uh, the fellow actually came up to us and said, um, you know, you're messing, you're messing with the devil in Dent, which of course is what they used to say, what, what was going on here, they referred to it as the devil's in Dent. This is our morgue room, which is probably one of my favorite rooms. Right, it's a new room for this year, uh, and it's got animation on animation. I think I saw this room in a movie once. Yeah, it, it actually was featured in a movie in its infancy. Um, <laughs> Mama <laughs> Trees, <laughs> put that in there. And it's always a shocking good time here at the Dance Schoolhouse. 